Hi ho, welcome back, Claude. Hello. Let's paint a Star Wars Legion box speeder Clone Wars <laughs> proxy. Yes. I 3D printed. Okay. So let's go. let's go. Here it is. This nice model, half pod racer, half speeder bike. I love it. So this is an Indian ink homemade wash with this. Uh, this is the bottle. You can read everything on the label. Yeah, so let's wash it with a watered down Indian black ink. I base coated it with the light gray and white sanit before I inked it. Let's put it in the sun to dry. Here it is, dry. So after drying, we do a dry brush with off-white. So this dry brush is a makeup brush. Yeah, let's uh, try it on a different model first. And I'm trying to do a Zenithal dry brush. Also on the mini. Ooh, ooh, that tickles, that tickles. So here it is. Primed, washed, dry brushed. Let's, let's see how the mini fits. Yeah. Let's put some dirt, color, whatever on it. I'm using Sand Golem uh, Army Painter Speed Paint version 1. I love uh, the reactivation stuff it does with the colors below. much fill it off with a finger regular artist paint beige tone all the surfaces I want to have a color on later so this is my base coat for that it is not really opaque it will sh the, the stuff below will shine through because I've added a little bit of water to the color Some details. I'm picking out some small bits, adding some contrast, some lighter parts to the grimy darkness. Some black speed paint on some details. So this is a masking liquid fluid thing and I want to do some chipping. I got this recently, you know when you order a pack and you're missing like two, three, four bucks to get uh, free delivery, then I always try to get something I didn't try before. Yeah, so only a little bit. This is dries like rubber later and then you can peel it off again after you paint it over it with something else. It is really easy to overdo it on those small things here. After the medium is uh, dry, I paint um, on a bright uh, raspberry red. 
Yeah, and every time I paint stuff I don't want to, I take a damp uh, brush and then just clean it away, wash it away. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this is not a brand new brush, <laughs> but I don't care. It also works fine. Peel off some of that chipping stuff. Oh, I love it. I tried uh, salt and hairspray before. It works sometimes. <laughs> This is, this is working really good. So yeah, and this bottle, you don't need a lot of it. So this bottle will last for ages. I th I, for me, it is worth the money. Yeah, PK Pro also sent me those, those, those plates, tiny paint plates. So I will uh, use them now. So if you want to buy something uh, over at the PK Pro store online shop, you can use the affiliate link um, in the description down below. And this is this uh, paintbrush, his, his line. Also like it. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's really cool and he has uh, different sizes. And So now I'm trying to find uh, <laughs> a way to paint this nose and the, the cheeks so you can see it. I'm using uh, speed paints, Crusader skin. Oh, focus, focus. Black speed paint for some yeah, the boots and belts. I think those three thingies on the breast are on the chest are grenades. Maybe some trackers he can throw. That would be a fun idea. He's got those trackers on the belt and then he's putting it on, on the tank or whatnot or another speeder and then he can track it and follow it. Also added some red speed paint that looks similar to the red on the speeder. good I like it he's a badass <laughs> yeah so now oof, we need to do something with the base I, I think I'm not really done with a, with a paint job but this base looks so boring I have to do something with it so in uh, Star Wars Legion uh, those speeders always are flying above the ground and to symbolize that I would put a lot of rubble and rubbish and stones and sticks and whatnot underneath it so it symbolizes that it is flying above those things. So most of the time it looks like total chaos what I'm doing. 
but actually it's not always total chaos. So <laughs> I'm adding some strong tone. I filled into an empty Agrax Earthshade bottle because I like to use strong tone and dark tone from those bottles from Games Workshop. make the details pop out and also to make the model more 3d looking like I'm using it just as a shadow not putting it all over all over the thing and now uh, I'm, I'm washing away with a damp brush then fading out feathering out the wash so it doesn't look like a brush stroke yeah that's what I do so this step also takes pretty long because I have to make decisions all the time. And uh, on the top part of the model, I use the strong tone. And on the bottom parts, the, the even darker shades, I will use the uh, dark tone or non oil or whatever, the dark one, the black one, to push shadows, to push light. I glued uh, the stones and the sticks to it with a hot glue gun and um, I'm putting on some PVA glue on the areas I want to have some uh, ground cover and for this uh, I'm using the stuff uh, craft cover sent over to try out it's uh, I think it's called tales from a moon and I think it's a it's uh, yeah it's that moon where those little furry guys <laughs> live on I got some baking paper uh, underneath so I can just uh, look at this Boom. Yeah. Boom. and then let's uh, shake off the rest and see what sticks yeah, that's really fun. <laughs> and there's so much different materials in there. Earth stuff, stones, sticks, little roots, little moss. It's, it's crazy, this amount of, of different types of things. I like to, to put a lot of, of stuff on it, but I would never... Uh, adds so many different things and that's what why I like this ground cover so much and thanks again so uh, crowd cover sent it over for free for me to use it and to show it to you so I guess this is a material sponsoring
So now I'm adding the dark tone, the null oil, to places I want to darken down a lot. So far, so good. Yeah, let's. What was the sound of the? Uh, yeah, let's let's uh, the, let's just put it in the sun to dry. Now it's dry. <laughs> Magic. It looks cool. But I want to do some more. I got this pot of uh, dark brown artist pigments and a dry brush. And then, uh, yeah, let's dirty it down from below. So now the stone blends in with the earth and then the boots get dirty some soft pastels for moss different greens and browns and stuff so yeah this is uh, the moss on the stone i like it beauty shots As always, thanks to my Patreons. If you want to support this channel, you can send me materials like a crowd cover and PK Pro, or you become a Patreon on Patreon and uh, support the channel. That would be really nice. See ya! <laughs>